Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into an application I have mentioned before. I think it was back in July when I did my first impression, but uh, after playing around with it for a little bit, I have decided to make a follow-up more in-depth video on this application called Sublime. So, um, this is an early access application. You can invite people. I actually got an invite or I watched their YouTube channel and got an invite. They have a browser extension which is basically a web clipper and they have an iOS application as well. Uh, I can uh, press unlock premium to see their pricing plans and they have two uh, pricing plans. They have one annual which uh, is sort of pay what you want. So you can choose from $50 each year to $7,500 $100 or $200. Or they have a lifetime plan starting at $300. Uh, so that is the pricing plan, which is pretty cheap compared to a lot of the other note-taking applications on the market. But um, as you might have known, a lot of these applications start off with a cheaper pricing and they increase their pricing as the product gets better. But this is a new type of application uh, and this is more of what I call mind garden applications, uh, which uh, is a new form of note taking just like uh, or it isn't necessarily new it has been around for a while but the applications in the space are sort of uh, new. Uh, so the idea here is that not only do you create your own uh, like note taking experience note taking app but you also share it with others and others can share it with you as well. So um this is the uh, like feed, imagine this as your social media feed for example, but this is a feed where you can see all uh, of the things that people have uh, shared uh, and this is the staff picks right here. You can also go to following people or uh, different collections. So there are a lot of collections here like Stoicism, Journaling, Giving Thanks, Sublime, there are a few product strategy. I will get back to what collection is a little later, uh, but um, here you can scroll to through things. You can press uh, into them and see what's related. So they are using some kind of algorithm here uh, to um, allow you to see what's related to the thing you clicked on. So if I go back now and I press this once again, uh, you can see that I get everything related to what is originality, uh, undetected plagiarism. Uh, it's from the book Still Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. I can also click on the book or the author or the person uh, or persons who have uh, added this to their collection or to their uh, to their notes. Uh, so you can actually click on these and see uh, what other things they have, uh, what other things they have collected and also you can start following them as well. Here I can press this to add this to one of my collections. So if I want to have them inside of one of my own notes, I can actually do that as well. Uh, and here, as I said, you can just go through this and you can see everything. But uh, in order to unlock unlimited related cards, you have to pay for the yearly plan. Uh, so you can just go ahead and just look at everything here and you can also see collections. Uh, I can go back here and I can continue to scroll. Uh, this application also works with images so you can search for text within images, uh, what we call OCR in the uh, productivity and PKM space. And I can scroll down if I see something I like I can click on it and I can just go ahead and I can look at the related cards and dive deep into the rabbit hole uh, which is note taking. Um, as I said you can start to follow people uh, and then you will see uh, what the people you follow uh, are highlighting or saving to their collections. And you can also uh, look and follow different collections. For example, sublime product strategy. Let's say I'm working on a product and product strategy is something that matters to me. I can press the follow button right here. Uh, and now I am following this um, 
following this collection. The same goes for journaling, for example. Uh, I'm interested in journaling, I want to follow journaling, I can press there as well. I can reshuffle these if I wanted to, or I can change the sort, uh, the way it is sorted. Uh, you can also find or ask as well. So that is basically the social aspect of it, uh, but you also have your own note-taking um, your own note-taking practices inside of this. So I have uh, one collection called Thought Provoking and uh, the way I have thought about using this application when I've played around with it, uh, this isn't necessarily an application for me personally, but I think this could be really good for people who write a lot uh, uh, or a, a lot of essays, for example, or people who uh, make a lot of content about different topics. I think it would fit them. Uh, personally, I like a note-taking experience that has more features and things like to-dos and so on, uh, but uh, you have the ability to add collections and the way I have thought about using collections inside of this application is actually uh, whenever I have an idea, let's say I uh, wanted to make an article about or write an article about how AI is destroying our thinking abilities, then I would actually go ahead and I would create a new collection like this. And I would call this AI destroying our thinking, like this, destroying our thinking. And you can choose to make this private, uh, or you could choose to share it with others. Here again, my thought process behind this is that I will have a thing private for as long as it is not developed. When I feel like an idea is developed, I will probably share it to others. That is just me personally. But you have to decide for yourself whether you want to share more or you want to share less. But I do believe in at least sharing a little bit because the idea here is that people can build on top of your ideas and you can build on top of their ideas. You can go ahead and you can create that collection. So this is my private collection and there is nothing there yet, but I could go ahead and I could actually uh, look at things and see if I can find something uh, that I want to add, or I could go ahead and I could look at different articles that I want to add. Uh, and I could just open a new tab and search for articles and just click things. I can also pin this to my sidebar or even export it as CSV or zip. Uh, so let's just pin this for right now. This is a private collection and this is a public one. Uh, and I could either go into like into here, uh, the uh, explore page, and I could search for AI and thinking. Or I could, uh, as I said, go in and find an article. This also has a Kindle and Readwise integration. So most likely if you are a Readwise and a Kindle user, you will probably have a lot of content already when you connect it to your Kindle. I haven't done that myself, but you could do that and get all of your Kindle highlights inside of here as well. And so I would actually use a name for my collections that sparks something uh, and I think that's the point of the application and then I would just put things inside of there and just to see uh, how a collection actually works we can go ahead and we can find one let's do this journaling one and here I can actually see all of the different things that is saved into this collection right here as you can see, there are a bunch of things and I can also uh, choose to see like text, images, highlights, articles, tweets, videos, books, files, or links, that is up to me. So if I press tweets, for example, I will get the tweets. If I press text, I will get the text. Uh, and uh, that is basically how collections work. I can also go ahead and I can add something, uh, paste a link, write something, or upload something. Uh, so, so I could do that and add something into my collection uh, manually as well. That is totally up to you. That is what what's, uh, the text posts are inside of 
different collections so just to show you that one more time if we go into collections i press this journaling one and we choose text these are things that are manually written and i can add this to my different collections here as well so i like the idea of this um but it is a little different i would say that this is more an application uh compared to the things like my mind for example and uh maybe fabric a little bit as well but i would say more like my mind a uh, glasp is another one that is really similar the idea of applications like this is actually to allow us to collaborate on different ideas and sort of steal and work on uh our uh ideas collectively so uh, i just saw the collection on steel like an artist and the idea there is that you can build on top of other people's ideas and that is the point of an application like this so i do really like it there are still a few issues that have to be sorted out so there was a question back in i think it was in july maybe even august of uh, of uh, what happens if i write something so if i write a note here and then i want to edit my note later uh because other people have saved it to their uh, collections because of the things I've wrote. If I then change it, will that be fair to those who have saved it? So there are a couple of questions like that that needs to be sorted out. Uh, but for the pricing, I would say that if they stick with a pricing around like 75 50 uh, USD each year. I would say 75 is probably a good pricing point. This application will be worth it. If it goes a little over 100, uh, I would say that it is a little bit harder to sort of um, to sort of uh, recommend this application because that is quite an extent expensive price to pay for an application that only allows you to take notes like this it doesn't allow you to capture to do items and things like that and that isn't the point of the application uh, but it is a little hard since this is so different from all of the other note-taking applications on the market uh, to figure out what pricing is r uh, right for something like this the uh but again the idea here is more of a place on the internet where you can collect ideas and things i would like to i would actually consider paying for this as an alternative to using regular social media for example because social media doesn't give me anything uh, most of the time um but uh that is sort of the point of uh this application is to see other people's uh ideas uh and add them to your own library and you can see all of your cards in your library here i mostly use this to uh check out the explore page to see things that might be a little interesting i might dive into them sometimes other times i just see something that i really like and i save it into another note-taking app but that was it for this more in-depth guide on uh, Sublime, which is looking like an amazing application for those who need an application like this. I don't necessarily uh, need something like this, but the idea is really, really cool. And I like to see some innovation in this space as well to have more of like a mind garden approach to note taking as usual if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so so much for watching today's video